Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. In my previous video, I demonstrated how the passwords can be captured using um, the error cap. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate that how we can use social engineering along with cloning a web page and then capture the username and passwords. So the idea here is also to uh, create awareness how easy it is to clone a website and then the emails that you receive in your uh, you know inbox saying that click on the link and then it redirects you to a website which probably could be the fake website meant to capture your username and password so uh, you know we should be avoiding that now the tool that I'm using for this particular demonstration is called the SCT Toolkit, Social Engineering Toolkit. So it's available in Kali, you don't need to install it. Just write SCT Toolkit and then there you go. Now it's pretty easy to use SCT Toolkit, you don't need any commands. So you just have to select the options from the menu. So I'm going to choose option number one, Social Engineering Attacks. Then we choose option number two, which is website attack vectors. And then we are going to choose option three, which is the credential harvester attack method, right? Okay. Now here we have um, three options. You can use the web templates, which are already available, which I'm going to use and show you. You also have the second option of a site cloner that you can clone a certain website. Uh, again, we, we are going to use that as well. And then you have the custom import option in which you can import a certain website. Now, let's go ahead with the first option, which is web templates. Now, it is asking you that on which IP address the post request should come back. Um, should be the IP address of the attacking machine, of course. So just make sure that this is the uh, IP address of the attacking machine. All right, so now you have, basically there were more templates available in the older versions, but now they have only three templates, Google, Twitter, and um, Java required. So let me go ahead and use the Google first of all. So I'm going to choose option number two. All right, so now, it has basically um, Google running on the port 80 of this attacking machine and waiting for the victim to open a URL that the attacker is going to send uh, to the victim through the email or other social engineering methods through a text message or whatever. So let's assume that this is the victim, right? Um, and he received an email asking to click a URL. Now, let me tell you before I show you the attack, uh, there are certain websites like Tiny URL, uh, which gives you the option that you can shorten your URL, uh, create a URL. Um, so rather than sending the IP address, which will be really obvious, I'm going to, so this is the IP address of the Kali Linux, my attacking machine on which the Google uh, website is running currently. So I'm going to create, a, you can also customize your URL. In certain cases, you might uh, require the membership. However, let's take advantage of the free option. I'm just going to create a tiny URL that you can see here. So probably let's just assume that this URL was sent to the victim in his email and he clicked on the link. So let me just put this link into the browser. You can see here on the top and press enter. Now you can see here that when I press enter, the Google login page has appeared. Here I can enter my email address, sadreza at gmail.com. Let's go back and check before I enter the password on the, what is going on the attacking machine. So attacking machine here, you can see that a get request was made by the victim. And let's enter the password. Obviously I'm not going to use my original password. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click sign in. Of course, it's not going to sign in because it's a you know wrong password. Um, however, you can see here that on the attacking machine, 
I was able to capture the password and the username uh, entered by the victim, assuming, right? So this is a pretty easy way that a website can be cloned, uh, hosted or running on the attacker machine. And then by using social engineering technique, the users are, uh, you know, kind of convinced to click on the link and then a fake web page opens on their machine if they don't notice and they enter their username and passwords so the attacker will get it. Now let's use the, um, I'm going to stop it here and let me go out of SCT Toolkit. So I'm going to start the toolkit again. And this time, instead of using the the available templates, I'm going to um, clone a certain website, a login page, and then we'll see if it works. So option number one, option number two, website attack vectors. Option number three, credential harvester. And this time I'm going to choose option number two, which is the site cloner, right? So option two. Again, it asks you for the post back. So I have to make sure it's the IP address of the your Kali Linux or the attacker IP, in other words. Or if you're using another IP, you can give that as well. Enter. And now enter the URL that you want to clone. So the SCT supports both HTTP and HTTPS. So you don't need to worry that it is only for the HTTP websites. It's for the HTTPS as well. And as we have seen it in the Google as well. Now the site that I'm going to clone, it's a, it's a bank website, a Facil Bank login web page. So I'm going to just copy the URL. And this time, instead of the Google, uh, we will be able to see this page. Paste, enter. So it says cloning, and then this will take a while. It's done now. So it's running. Let's go to the victim machine. And I'm not going to go through the tiny URL again. I'm just going to type in the IP address of the uh, attacking machine. Uh, Kali Linux 192.168.36.133. Press enter. And there you go. So this here in the URL, you can see this is the IP of the Kali Linux, but the web page that you see is the login page of a bank. I'm going to enter my email address one more time. And of course, a fake password. Let's just call it 456456, okay? And click sign in. Let's go back to the attacker's machine. Here you can see the email address has been captured and also the password 456456, right? So this is yet another way how the username and passwords can be captured. Um, the idea here is to, again, to be aware of these attacks, how easily they can be launched on, on you and then how you can protect yourself against them. Now, I'm also going to make another video a bit more in detail about the social engineering kit because there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the SCT toolkit. Uh, and then I'm also going to make further videos about various methods of password cracking. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Keep watching uh, because I'm going to put a lot of contents on this channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.